Hello and good day. This is Adam Nations coming to you from Nation Starter and Alternator. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a, a video on the differences between uh, what we sell here at Nations, which is the OEM Lee Snaville 230 amp alternator. Uh, this unit has been prepared for uh, packaging and installation. So we uh, have the, the bolts that are provided in the, uh, the kit that we buy from Lee Snaville attached here. And we have the pulley installed, uh, ready to go uh, to the left here. And at first glance, uh, you wouldn't notice too much of a difference between these two units, but this is a Chinese uh, copy of the Lee Snaville design. Um, they're made by many manufacturers. This one in particular right here comes with the, uh, the company that imports them part number, as well as the Made in China sticker positioned on the back plastic cover. Uh, the Lee Snaville comes with a sticker on the side. We remove those and we install our own stickers, so that's why this uh, question has come about. And uh, that's what I want to clear up. So we order these in, usually 10 or more at a time, you know, from our uh, distributor. And then we outfit them ready to go. Uh, one, when they arrive in the Lee Snaville box, the blue and white box, it says made in the USA of US and foreign components. Uh, they are not in a box that's fit for packaging. This is a very heavy alternator at 20 pounds. Uh, so we package them in a, in a foam box. We double box them in a 10 by 10 by 10 box. So there's plenty of room, plenty of padding. So they arrive to our customers in one piece. Uh, here's the, the aftermarket one. And, you know, it was just in a plain box. It's actually a very nice box from this particular company. Uh, a lot of them just come in, in very, a very thin white box. Uh, coming back to the pulley, here at Nations, we also work on these. So we know that this pulley, from our experience, is the correct size to be used with the factory belt. And it's not an underdrive pulley. It's not an overdrive pulley, so it's not going to be too big uh, where you can't install the factory belt, and it's not going to be too small to where you may have belt slippage issues. Uh, both the foreign uh, Chinese and the Lee Snaville OEM both come with no pulley. So again, we space these up properly. Uh, we you know, torque the, the nuts down properly where they're not going to come off on the diesel. So you just get one that's ready to put on. Uh, coming back to the differences visually that you can see other than the finish of the housing. You know, one thing I've noticed, and I'm going to try to zoom in here close enough to actually tell. Uh, the, the machining, and this is the Chinese unit. Uh, there are kind of like grooves in the actual uh, mounting bolt surface there where the where the the mounting bolt surface on the OEM unit seems to be very slick, very polished. You don't see the the machining grooves that you see on the aftermarket unit. As well, looking at the windings. You know, here's the OEM unit. You know, you definitely see a, a different type of uh, you know, uh, color to the copper winding. And so here's OEM. And then the insulating laminations are definitely made of a different material, which is kind of almost a bluish color. Well, greenish blue, uh, depending on, you know, how this shows up on the camera as far as the actual lamination. So definitely a di different material. Uh, this unit we have used before in the past. I probably haven't used them for a, a couple years just because the reliability wasn't there, you know. I was very hopeful we'd be able to offer a, a lower priced unit and the reliability be there, but that just does not seem to be the case. Um, one thing looking internally here at the inside of the rotor, they have very, much tried to mimic the design of the way that the 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 screws that hold the internal fan on i notice here looking at the least neville that that is a a star uh torx bit and then going over here to the chinese unit that is a allen head 
bit and it just seems like there's a heavier varnish where it's kind of glossier. Uh, you can see the, uh, the Allen size bit there. Then go into the OEM unit. You can see where it's more of just kind of a, a raw metal look to the fan. And then again, those are a, a torque. So a couple ways to identify them. Uh, earlier models of the aftermarket unit, the regulator was actually a different color. Go into the regulator here. This is on the Lease Neville. Um, the Lease Nevilles, you know, are black regulator. Uh, most of the earlier aftermarket ones were uh, gray. You can see this uh, lettering or num numbers and letters that are on the back of the cover. And that's on the OEM Lee Snaville. To where then on the aftermarket, they do not have that. And even just the, if I can get them kind of side by side here, even just the actual plastic is uh, kind of a different, you know, type of look and feel. And then on the plastic cover here, you know, again, they have the black regulator. You can see the heat sinks on the OEM, very similar on the aftermarket. Uh, you can see that on the Chinese unit, the hardware that holds the regulator down, that you can see through the cover. On the Chinese unit, it is a like a Phillips head. And then on the OEM unit, much like the OEM Ford style, uh, they have a Torx uh, like T15, T20, uh, you know, size and look of a screw there. So, again, looks can be deceiving. Don't always believe what you hear. If you ever have a question here at Nations about what we're doing, we are an open book. And, you know, we just want people to know what they're getting and uh, not to be fooled by other people that are, are saying one thing but then maybe delivering another. Here at Nations, as always, we say get the power you deserve. It's your hard-earned mon hard money. And especially on the Ford diesels, you want something that is up to par. So thank you for your time. I know this video ran a little longer than I wanted it to. But again, you know, there's a lot of differences and just small things that you can see between the OEM and the replica. Take care.